Okay guys, I made a video here for those who are asking how are they going to make a plan. I'm here on the ROM Sketcher website. I'm going to download their app. I'm going to show you how to make a plan using this ROM Sketcher uh, app. I have downloaded it now. I am using Mac, so I choose the uh, iOS. You can choose Windows if you have Windows. So here it, here it is now. It's opening on the app. I will make a new project on this. So I will going to make the wall now. Here in the right side, you can customize the thickness of the wall. I choose the eight inches thickness. And here is the floor plan that we are going to illustrate. I'm going to make first the outer walls. It is thicker, so I use the thicker uh, wall. It's eight inches. So here it is. For the interior walls, I choose the thinner one, which is 10 mm or 4 inches, 0.1 or 4 inches. So I'm going to make a interior wall now. Now you can see that it's so easy to work on in this ROM Sketcher app. Okay, I am almost done now. Now for the wall, here at the top there is a red button. When you click it, you can see that there's an option here for the doors, windows, and fixtures. Are going to click now the door. Upon clicking it, you will see a different doors. Just choose one and then put it on the wall like what I did here you can choose uh, any door here now if you want to flip the door just go at the upper part here you can see here flip the door and the door will flip to the orientation that you want it to be just like that and then for the other door just click the door icon, put it where you want it, and then click the orientation. That's how easy it is to make a floor plan in ROM Sketcher. And now for the windows, what we are going to do is look for the windows that we want. And then put it in the walls, just like this. You can also adjust the size by clicking on it and dragging the direction icon. Okay, we're almost done now. I'm going to make a line for the countertop for the kitchen. Just like this, I'm going to drag the lines. Uh, but I think it is more efficient if I'm going to make it uh, the line is thicker just like the walls but I reduce it in 0 0.05 or 2 inches oh here it is almost done we are now going to save it here at the top left upon saving it if we are going to print this if I am going to take a snapshots they will not allow me and if I'm going to generate a photo, it will cost me $3. Another thing is the camera. You, you just click it and then drag it, put it outside the floor plan so that when you take a screenshots, it will not uh, include it. Another is the dimensions of the rooms. So we are going to remove this by clicking it. And then on the right side, you can see the show zone size you are going to click this and then choose to remove or delete the sizes manually you can delete the room sizes so here is the almost finished floor plan what we are going to do now is to take a screenshots of this the finished product 
after I have taken the screenshots, I'm going to look at the screenshots now. So here it is. I am now going to edit it manually by putting some text on it. Like bedrooms, living rooms, and any room areas. I will just duplicate the label of every rooms and then edit it according to the room names. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to post a link here on how to edit the Canva templates. Be sure to follow and subscribe so that you will be notified when I uploaded a new video or updated video on how to make an equation diagram. Thank you.